Hello. In Minnesota, which is the state where George Floyd uh, was killed by three policemen, there is a board of pardons. It meets two or three times a year. Uh, the uh, judges are the governor, the attorney general, and the chief justice of the state. And each, each supplicant uh, has ten minutes, which ends with a, the pinging of a bell, uh, to put their case for a pardon. These are all people who've served their time, um, whatever sentence they receive for their criminal activity. Um, but th they now want something more. Uh, they want a, a pardon. And uh, on the day that um, the reporter was there who wrote the article I read, there was a, 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 a tall, um, smartly dressed man who uh, had 25 years Previously, he had been arrested because he had 127 doses of LSD on him. There was the naval um, veteran who uh, had um, critically injured someone while striving under the influence of drink. There was the man who'd beaten his wife and been convicted twice for doing so, but now wanted pardon, and she was there sitting beside him. There was the drug uh, dealer who was now a very effective drug counsellor. And all these people wanted to be pardoned. And this would restore to them their civic rights. So they could, for example, uh, apply for a gun licence, or they could uh, apply to work in a children's home. Uh, at a deeper level, uh, it helped the pardon uh, if the majority of the judges, and you needed a majority to, to be pardoned, if the majority of the budges, judges offered you the pardon, it, it, it apparently, one of them said, it lifted the burden of guilt, the awareness that they had hurt people, but somehow or another the guilt that they had felt for that was, was re alleviated uh, 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 by the pardon that they received in this official way. And thirdly, I think that they said in the, in the interviews with them that they were able to see themselves differently. Certainly they were restored, as it were, to a proper place in society, that society would see them differently, uh, having been, uh, received this official pardon. But they could also see themselves differently, uh, not identifying themselves as people who were criminals, but as people who were good living and, uh, and honest citizens. And, and I, it made me think about the way we see ourselves, because sometimes we've done things which have hurt other people or which we bitterly regret, uh, and forgiving ourselves is very hard. Um, but uh, I think if we can allow ourselves to be gentle with ourselves, perhaps if we're Christians to uh, acknowledge the forgiveness of God, which um, sets us free from any guilt or any burden f that we carry, as a result of our previous actions. If we can allow ourselves to judge ourselves as people who are uh, forgiven and forgive ourselves for what we've done, uh, then I think we can find a, a new and different identity. Sometimes we can actually go to the person uh, who we've hurt and seek their pardon, but that isn't always possible. Sometimes the only possibility is for us to do it internally uh, and hope that uh, at least two out of the three judges uh, assessing the situation inside our heads uh, will decide that we have been sufficiently reformed, sufficiently changed uh, to no longer see ourselves as people who are failures, people who have hurt others, but to find a new identity as good people uh, able to live honest and free lives.